Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a natural, alcohol-free mouthwash. So let me show you how it's made. This is the product here, and it does use essential oils as part of the preservative and mouth freshening system. And I'm also using a natural emulsifier, so we don't end up with a totally clear solution. It does look a little herby and it would be best stored in opaque bottles for consumer use. Now to put this product together, I'm using a couple of sneaky formulation tricks to help ensure I've got a really stable, well-preserved product that also suits the pH of the mouth, which is up around seven. One of the issues you have with a lot of natural preservatives is they need the pH to be around 5.5, which doesn't suit the pH of the mouth or saliva and of course can cause dental issues. So we need that pH to be up nice and high around 6.5 to 7. So we need to use a very special type of preservative system. First of all, I have a lot of sorbitol here. Now I'm going to mix this in with the water. And there's a couple of reasons for using so much sorbitol. First of all, this sorbitol will make it taste very sweet without needing to add any sort of sweetener or artificial sweetener. The other thing is the sorbitol, it is a humectant, so it gives a really smooth mouth feel. So when you use this product, the gums feel really smooth when you run your tongue around them. The other reason I'm using so much sorbitol is it helps reduce the available water in this system so it retards microbial growth. So this helps with our more natural preservative system. Now here I'm going to prepare my solubilizing stage. I have here polysugamulse D9 and this is my natural solubilizer and to this I'm going to add just a little bit of tocopherol and my other very important ingredient this is Sali Naturals Min. Now the Sali Naturals Min is a special material that's a combination of essential oils that have a preservative function. Now I just wanna point out for those viewers out there, if you are thinking of using a different solubilizer, just be careful. A lot of these solubilizers can taste very, very bitter. So I've used the Polysugamulse D9 because it doesn't have an overly bitter flavor associated with it. And another really important note is that just using any combination of essential oils isn't necessarily going to give you the same antimicrobial and preservative benefits that the Sali Naturals Min material does. So I would caution you against using different solubilizing agents because of the taste and also against using your own combination of essential oils because you simply may not get the preservative function from any other combination of oils that you get from the Sali Natural Min material in particular. So these are materials I've selected specifically to ensure this formula has suitable preservation and safety in the mouth. If you're gonna change these, please just be careful about what other materials you change them for. Now I'm going to add this slowly into my water phase and mix it to combine it. It's important to add the solubilized material slowly at this step so that you get good stability in the finished product. Now I'm just going to check and adjust the pH. Remember we want it to be around 6.5 to 7 to suit the mouth. Now on the day you make it, especially if you're making a small batch, you will have extra bubbles. They will settle out and you will see the product is exactly like that underneath. And that's how easy it is to make an alcohol-free, herbal-based, natural mouthwash. 
Just remember if you want to alter any ingredients, you need to be careful to make sure that you still have the effective preservative system. The Sali Natural Min in this formula and the high content of sorbitol is performing that function for me. And again, if you're going to use a different solubilizer, make sure it's not too bitter in its taste and it suits the oral mucosa. And in case you're wondering, is it palatable? Well, of course it tastes good. The Sali Natural Min actually has a really refreshing flavor. The Poly Sugar Mulse D9 I've selected because it doesn't have too bitter a flavor. And of course that high content of Sorbitol makes it quite sweet and feels really beautiful on the gums and the mouth. So there you go. The proof is in the taste. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our formulas. Happy formulating.